So Pete, I love the way breakpoints and media queries are giving us control over our CSS styles. You know, you've had a lot of experience in the past building responsive sites. What patterns or general strategies have you found to be the most useful? You're right. There are several great patterns out there. But I'll start with probably the most simple and one of the most important ones, the grid fluid system. With the grid fluid system, columns end up wrapping to the next line as the browser width starts getting smaller. There's a lot of good examples out there that you can try like Bootstrap or the 960 pixel grid layout system that are easy to use and have everything done for you already. Oh, well, that does sound like a pretty nice flexible strategy. You know, I did a little searching and I found that the HTML5 rocks page is an example of a site that uses a fluid grid. Notice how when I shrink the screen, the articles that are three columns across in this main section shift down to a single column. Also, if you're unfamiliar with grid-based layouts or you think you'd have a hard time designing one of your own, in the Intro to HTML and CSS course, we cover grid-based layouts. Check out the link in the instructor notes to learn more.